Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can uh, connect a payment provider to your WooCommerce store so you can, um, with this you can accept credit cards and Google Pay and Apple Pay and this is what I want to show you in this video. So um, here is my uh, new store and I currently don't have uh, a payment method here connected. So let me show you, um, oh, I want to show you my uh, favorite payment provider, so uh, my favorite pro favorite payment provider is uh, Stripe. So I uh, like Stripe very much because they are accepting all kinds of credit cards and because yeah, most of the people out there have credit cards uh, and um, Apple Pay and Google Pay. I think this is really good. So um, now let me show you how this works. So it's uh, relatively simple. Um, we can go to plugins at new and then we have to wait until the page is there, there it is. And then um, on the um, uh, top right corner in the search menu, um, I search for Woo Payments, Woo Payments. You can search for Woo Payments. So, and here um, it is the first result, uh, Woo Payments by um, Automatic. So, and I don't know why it only has uh, three stars because uh, I use this on all my stores and um, I'm, uh, really happy with this uh, plugin or with this provider so I have no clue why it is only at three stars and the other way is um, maybe you have in your store um, when you have a WooCommerce store then you can see on the left side I have this uh, payments uh, symbol here um, when I click here and then um, here you can see I have this as well this is the same plugin um, here I have a button for the installation, so uh, I can do um, by uh, installing the plugin manually or I can click here. So now I will click here, install WooPayments for free. So and um, this is, I think Stripe or WooPayments is really good because uh, the fees are really low and um, yeah, you don't have to pay any monthly monthly fees. Um, they will uh, yeah, charge you when somebody pays in your store, then uh, they will charge you, uh, I think it's 0.5% of each transaction. And uh, I think that's okay. So cool. Okay, then um, of course I have to blur something, uh, some uh, blur it out because uh, yeah, I uh, provide you my real information and uh, yeah, I have to blur some parts out. So um, let me put in the email address I'm using here is this service. Let me go here. Copy this. Easier. So paste in your store email address and then continue. Now a username, we'll use this username, choose a password, um, let me go here, uh, I'll use this password. and create my account. Um, yeah, save. Okay, and now um, he is connecting my WooCommerce store to the payment provider. And this can take a little while. So um, yeah, and then, then you get an email. I heard the email sound in the background. So I get an email that my store is now connected to Stripe. And uh, now I have to fill out some, some information, what I sell on the store and uh, yeah, a few details. And of course I have to blur it out so <laughs> that not everybody can see this and uh, I need my email again. Copy. Paste. Continue. Now I have to fill my 
a phone number. Okay, now I will get an email and an SMS. So oh, SMS code. Where is, where is Germany, 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 death, Germany. Um, this. Okay, now I have to um, select the industry I'm in. So, um, industry is I think retail and uh, home oh, auto parts okay there it is your website address is um then you Okay, and um, if you filled out everything correctly and if you provided your bank account, then um, yeah, they will check everything. And um, yeah, after this, uh, this is uh, really fast. They go through, uh, through the data, they processing the data. And uh, yeah, now I'm redirected back to my website, back to the store. And um, yeah, I get an email and I have to confirm my email address um, later on. So, but now uh, you can see everything is ready. Uh, you can see payment me method is enabled, deposit, uh, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, and um, let's uh, take a look at WooCommerce real quick. So, where is WooCommerce, uh, WooCommerce, and then settings. And now if we go to payments, and here you can see WooCommerce payments is activated. And when we click on manage, And we can see um, WooCommerce payment is enabled. Perfect test mode. We don't need this. And here you have a few options you can um, accept. Uh, for example, yeah, a credit card and debit card is um, standard. So this is always on. And here you have a few other payment methods. Ban, uh, ban contact. I don't know what this is. EPS, uh, Giro Pay, Ideal, Sofort and something polish i don't know what this is but i don't need this i only want to have credit card and down here um, you have the express checkout so um, apple pay and google pay is automatically activated as well and this is great and um, here you have the information so when somebody makes a purchase on your website then this is uh, what they see on their uh, on the credit card bill and here you have to paste in your uh, support email. Let me do this real quick. I copy my email again and paste it in here. Great. Okay, we don't need a support tele telephone number. Mm, yeah, and um, that's basically it. Then of course hit save changes. And now, let me show you how this will look in the front end. Now everything is um, saved. Let's go to the to the store, to the front end. And here you can see when I click on checkout. And now you can see, um, yeah, the, the credit card payment is activated. And if, if they fill out uh, all the information, then they will see the credit card where they can put in the credit card and uh, yeah, oh, well now it's loading. Now uh, you can see the credit card field and you can put in your credit card information or the customer can put in the credit card information and they are can pay with in our WooCommerce store. So yeah, I think this is great. Oh, and another thing I want to show you, let's go back to the homepage. And let's visit a product page real quick. So for example, this product. Um, 
Ah, I thought, um, I don't know why this is, but normally there is directly a quick checkout button. Uh, I think now it's loading. For some reason, my uh, internet connection is a little bit slow, but you can see um, because I'm right now in the Google, Google Chrome browser, now you can see I could uh, uh, make a quick checkout or the customer can make a quick checkout with this uh, buy with Google Pay button. So I think this is really great and this is uh, one of the best payment plugins you can use for your for your WooCommerce store. And also if you want, of course, you can add more payment solutions. For example, PayPal, for example, is a really popular payment solution. But uh, yeah, now you know uh, my favorite payment provider. So it's a WooCommerce payment or WooPay payments or stripe and this is really great so yeah that's it for the video so if you have any questions then let me know in the comments down below and of course i try to answer all the questions as fast as i can and if you learned something new in this video or if you like the video then press the thumbs up button for the video and um, also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah so uh, thank you for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye